everybody. This is an update to my Alfred workflow video that you can see up here. Up in the link in the, I believe it's the right hand corner. And we'll talk about why this is an update here in a moment. Uh, but it, in that video, I just describe why an Alfred workflow, a specific one, the units Alfred workflow, didn't work for me on my new M1 Mac. And I put the video out there saying, does anybody have a solution? And here is what was happening in that original video. Alfred units workflow that we have all become accustomed to. Um, the workflow, it looks like this. And here you can usually um, select units and then uh, convert any unit of measurement you wish. And you will see it towards the end of the video when I switch to um, the older Mac to demonstrate how it works. But right now, this is the message that I get when trying to use the Alfred units workflow. It says, unable to run tasks, reason, launch path is not accessible user slash bin slash ph after that video was posted i quickly found a solution so um this is what we needed to do to fix that problem of getting the workflow to run so i'm going to show you how to fix the um, workflow specifically that Alfred workflow, units workflow uh, with a simple fix. It's using Homebrew, installing PHP, and adjusting the setting in uh, the Alfred workflow. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing uh, you want to see is starting up um, homebrew and and seeing if you have PHP installed. The way you do this is you know, going over here to your terminal. And by the way, in if maybe a week or two, I'm going to have a video up on how to beautify your terminal. And it's going to be really cool. So be on the lookout for that video. But now let's get back to installing PHP. So what you do is you go brew install PHP. And I should already have this installed. So it should come back. Yes. So it's telling me uh, PHP 8.1.3 is already installed and up to date. To reinstall, run brew reinstall. And I don't want to reinstall it. So, because it's already installed and I don't need to do anything more. And now, if I were to go to the Alfred terminal, um, Alfred terminal, the Alfred um, settings page for that workflow. I would hit command spacebar to bring up Alfred and then hit command comma to bring up the settings page. And here I am and I would go to workflows and I would select the DAS units um, workflow that I had a problem with and I would see 
which one it is that I would um, how to change the PHP setting of how the uh, workflow runs. So I would think it's the somewhere. Oh yes, here it is. So you see how right here it says opt homebrew slash bin dot slash PHP. Initially, it was set to slash bin slash bash. And that needed to be changed. So that is how you would fix your workflows if they uh, seem to not work in your new M1 Mac. Um, at least that's what did it for me. Well, I hope you enjoyed this, guys. It's just a quick update video on how to fix uh, your Alfred problems that may occur in your new M1 Mac. Um, because honestly, not all the workflows have been optimized for the new M1. So this uh, I found to be a quick and easy fix for most of the problems that I, would, I was having with workflows. By the way, everyone, here's a demonstration of the unit's workflow actually working on an M1 MacBook Air. So you would go to, um, you would go to Alfred, and then simply type units, and then you would pick your, let's say, temperature and you wanted to know what 70 degrees is in uh, Celsius so you would type here 70 so you choose Fahrenheit first and then your conversion is to Celsius and it would automatically give you your 21.1 .1 is 70 degrees Fahrenheit to Celsius. All right, and then you can simply tap the return key again to copy that if you needed that information. All right, guys, please like and subscribe and comment on what you would like to see as far as automation videos in the future. That really helps me uh, come up with ideas for these videos. Anyway guys, I will see you all in the next video.